Just as trunks and branches are to trees, traditional Middle Eastern woodworking has formed and guided the direction of Abdel Rahman Tabanaj's life. From the age of 10, the Syrian artisan has been fine-tuning his craft in the techniques of mother of pearl and wood mosaic inlay. Eight years ago, the war forced Tabanij to close his well-regarded store in Damascus and move to Amman. Even as the country he knew was disintegrating, he was determined not to let his life's work disappear. Always, when I'm working and doing something new, the memories fill my mind. I keep remembering the old days, when I was young and working with my teacher, or when I was in my shop in Damascus. Especially, when I need the materials, it was easy to find them, because they are originally from Syria. A non-profit organization founded by the Prince of Wales, called Turquoise Mountain, is reviving handicrafts of the past and providing artisans like Tabanij with a future. There's a dwindling number of skilled craft workers and a declining interest in this most Arab of styles. So designers recruit and work with artisans to reimagine creations more palatable to contemporary consumers in the region and beyond. I'm helping people to sustain their businesses. I'm developing new products, but putting into consideration the importance of uh, like the significant elements in our cultural heritage in terms of traditional crafts in general. So it's, uh, and it's very satisfying actually seeing products come to life. To protect what Turquoise Mountain describes as endangered handicrafts, it's ensuring a new generation learns centuries-old skills from wood and metalworking to basket weaving. Since 2019, it has trained about 250 people and paid both artisans and apprentices. Mohammed Ibrahim is a Palestinian refugee who has been training for three years. What attracted me most is that this skill is rare in Jordan. Master craftsman Abdel Rahman Tabanij hopes to reopen a store in Damascus with his sons one day. But by coming to Jordan, he has already created a legacy he may not have anticipated. He's sharing his rarefied skills and cultural pride in a country where there's never been a history of this kind of woodworking. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Amman, Jordan.